everyone, welcome back. Please excuse my face. Um, I haven't got all my makeup on because I'm going to be trying a couple of things from the Katie Price Beauty. Um, so the first thing that I picked up was the um, Smoky Palette and it looks like that. And all her stuff at the moment is on sale. So this was £7 reduced from 10 I think. And then I also picked up the Contour Palette um, which was £10.50 reduced from 15 So I've got foundation, concealer, powder and brows on. My face is looking very flat and so red here. Ugh. I don't know how to get rid of the rosacea redness on me. Never mind. So I'm going to start with the contour palette. Um, as you can see, it's got a great range of colours. Obviously this one is going to be far too dark for my skin tone. And the yellowy powder. Um, it's going to be too yellow for my skin. But it might be good for like, probably use it for eyeshadow and stuff like that. And yeah, so... This one looks a bit orangey. I'm gonna go in with this color just to contour a little bit. Mm. Just gonna say it seems a little bit chalky but the pigmentation is bloody fabulous. Fabulous. I'm just going to go in with a, a bit of blush and then I will try the highlight. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the highlight. Oh. oh my lord. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my good god. That is fantastic. I'm going to do some down here. So far I'm absolutely thrilled with that palette. Um, it looks a bit hot, more harsh in this light and on camera but the colour against my like really pale skin is so natural looking. I'm absolutely thrilled with it and the highlight is just to die for. <laughs> I am absolutely made up. I cannot wait to try the eyeshadows now. So I'm just going to start by priming my, 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 eyes, my eyes with um, milk, as I always do. Just going to take the brush out because um, I'm not going to use it at this point. Uh, but I never like throwing away these brushes. Um, uh, so it's a, a dual ended brush, flat one, I like a, a blender one, but yeah, they're pretty soft, but I don't usually use these. Um, I'm going to start with this lightest colour and just go all over from eyelid to eyebrow. So in the palette there are eight shimmers and four um, mattes and I feel like there's a really good range of colours in there. I don't know what I'm going to go in with. <laughs> you can see my light. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to go in, in with all over the lid. Um, I feel like with this being a smoky palette I should do like a dark eye. 
I think I'm gonna go in with this silvery colour all over the lid. Let's bite the bullet and do it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with this colour here to start defining the crease. Oh my crease brush. Holy shit. That's so dark. These are so pigmented. It's amazing. So nice to blend. So, so nice. Next I'm going to go in with this slightly darker grey just to deepen it up even more. Oh wow, that's so dark. It's almost black. Oh my god, it looks like I've been punched in the face. Raccoon! I have to do a shit ton of blending. Next, I'm just gonna go uh, on the bottom lash line with pretty much all of the colours that I've just used. Starting with that first silvery grey God, I look so much like a blender right now Okay Next, I'm going to take the darkest colour. Um, this one here is actually like a purpley colour. Um, so I'm actually going to take this one and just line my eyes with it. Um, along the top, maybe not so much down the bottom, but we will see. using this brown liner. This is from MUA Makeup. Oh my god. So if you've watched any of my makeup videos before, you know that I cannot do without a inner corner highlight and my favourite is the Tanya Bear uh, Galaxy Palette um, one in Snowflake. So I'm just going to add that in. I'm only going to finish the eye look with about 5 million coats of mascara. That helps. So that is the finished look. So what do I think? I think they are bloody fantastic. The contour palette, the colour that I use, the lightest colour, it looks a bit harsh on camera but in natural light it looks so so good 
and obviously there's two other colours in there so I think it'd be perfect for quite a lot of skin tones and the highlight is just unbelievable and then the eyeshadows really really soft really really blendable I love the variety of colours that is, that's in there and I do think that you could definitely do like an eye a, an eye a day look with it this is obviously not something that I would wear every single day it is more of a going out on the town kind of eye um, but I definitely think there's enough colours in there with the neutrals and then with the matte shades to do a daytime look as well the only thing I would say or the only two things that I would say is although I like the look of the packaging and it's like this metally tin it does feel quite um, cheap but it's not overly expensive anyway for the palette so I'm not particularly bothered about that and I do love the white with the pink on top and then the products both the contour and the eyeshadow palette were quite chalky but if you can look past that these are two absolutely fantastic palettes and I'm so pleased that I picked these up so recently I did mention that I wanted to buy cruelty free products and these palettes along with the rest of the line are made by tambeauty.com and all of their products, all of their brands, I think they cover Makeup Revolution, all of their stuff is 100% cruelty free. So, got these two fantastic palettes that I am now obsessed with, and they're cruelty free as well, so I'm absolutely thrilled with that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more, then please subscribe. Bye.